So let's get started. First, I'm taking a salmon tone concealer to even out all discoloration around my eyes, nose, chin, and even some blemishes around my face. I'm taking a MAC foundation in NC40, and I'm applying it all over my face to even out my skin tone. We're going for a porcelain-like foundation look today. Primer is a must-have. If you want to wear this look out all night, make sure you use a primer or base to ensure zero chance of eyeshadow fading away. Next, I'm taking a silver eyeshadow by Ben Nye in the color silver, and I'm applying it on three-fourths of the lid. This will highlight the eye and give it a more vibrant look. Take the darkest and matte black that you can find. We're working this into the outer corner of the eye and eventually creating a V-like shape in the outer corner and crease. Here, I'm continually going back for more eyeshadow to achieve the deepest black possible. Don't forget to line those eyes using an angled brush in the same black eyeshadow for the full cat-like effect. Use the excess eyeshadow to create a sharper line. Take any blending brush that you can find and simply blend away. For brows, simply choose the shade that best complements you. Don't go too dark. A shade or two lighter than your hair never fails to look natural. Here's a tip. When using liquid liner and you accidentally create a blob, take your finger and pull it outward to help create a line. This never fails and it gives you a nice guideline. Take some mascara and apply it generously. This will prepare you for false lashes later. Grab a pink blush. I'm mixing a rose and a hot pink blush to complement my skin tone. Okay, here comes the weird part. Take an art brush or one you don't care for and spray a small amount of hairspray on it. Before it dries, dab your brush into the glitter. Simply apply it where you desire. Just avoid getting it in your eye. If it bothers your eyes, simply use a glitter adhesive. Apply false lashes, then add any finishing touches needed. Then, your look is complete.